Ladies and gentlemen, what's up, BC? Another episode of Supreme Being. We do this podcast minimum twice a week, Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. Uh, maybe adding some extra episodes. We'll see. If you guys didn't check, I just dropped the new video on my YouTube channel that I'm leaving California, right? Some of you maybe don't follow me there. I recommend you go and watch it. The video is getting a ton of views. And if you didn't know, I'm in Southern California, which would blow my mind that you'd not know that I'm here. But uh, you can follow the journey. And within a eh, month, month and a half, I'll let you guys know where I moved to. Sponsors of the podcast, Team BC. If you guys need anything, we are in 12 states in the continental United States. Uh, you can message me or go to teambcsoul.com. Shout out to Modern Success, my coaching program. Many of you asked to get more help and mentorship from me. If that's what you want and you want to learn what I know, you need to go to Modern Success, which is in the link in my bio on Instagram, or you can go to briancasella.com, which I link down below in every podcast episode in the description. All right, so let's begin. I made an episode, I think last week or the week before, in regards to the necessity, especially for men to be 100% honest and how they live their lives and in their daily lives with themselves and with the world, okay? I want to add to that podcast today, and I want to talk specifically about there's this um, need or this feeling for people all the time. And it's been accepted, I think, that we sweep it under the rug and it's, it's been justified somehow, right? And I'm going to get into it in the, the podcast, right? Of this, this thing of hiding things from people, right? Like you'll get it as advice too, right? Uh, I'll speak a little bit about it so you understand exactly what I'm saying. You'll hear little snippets like, well, you know, don't tell everybody all that stuff or don't tell everybody everything, you know, keep everything to yourself. It's okay to, to not talk about stuff and hustle in private, you know, and, and it's like this, this thing, right? Which I believe originally came out because there's a lot of pretentious douchebags who just say, look at me, look at me, look how much money I have. So if that specific advice is directed towards them, I get it. However, the effect of that is bigger than that. Okay. It has a much grander effect than just that. And I want to discuss this specifically on the podcast because I don't really see many people tackling this subject, right? Because I'm going to discuss the opposite end of the coin and the spectrum on this episode in regards to this. I don't have anything to hide and I have full disclosure about myself, my life, my beliefs, philosophies, what I do on a daily basis, and I put it out there. Okay. And, and I've done that pretty much from day one. There's very few things that I don't show. Right? I'm not going to tell you to put yourself in a position to hurt yourself. Right? There will be some asterisks on this. Like, for example, if you're a woman and you're alone, I'm not going to recommend that you tag your location all the time because there's creeps out there. Right? If you're somebody who um, you know, makes a lot of money, I wouldn't recommend that you share your bank account and that kind of stuff because you may compromise yourself with somebody hacking you or something like that. So we have to use common sense when it comes to this. Okay? But I'm just talking about in a general sense. Okay? of I don't have to hide anything and it's full disclosure, whether that be from a personality standpoint, a character standpoint, but this is a big one, beliefs and philosophies, okay? You look at people who are doing stuff online, right? The world pretty much, if we're gonna split up reality to the real world, which we'll call one, and social media, um, the internet, online, TV, that's zero, right? We'll just split it up like that for the sake of this podcast so you understand when I reference a number, what I'm referring to one, being the physical plane and zero being online, everything we see that isn't real in quotes, right? And, you know, for a lot of people in regards to the subject, <clears throat> I look at like what I put out, right? And, and we were discussing specifically beliefs and philosophies. Man, I think this is very important because if you follow me, you are a young adult, and you're probably an entrepreneur, right? That tends to be the audience that follows me, men or women, right? Doesn't really matter. You fall primarily into those categories where you have aspirations of being some sort of entrepreneur, business person, doing something out of the norm, basically, all right? So for you to build a big brand, a solid reputation, to be admired, and all those things that you go for, if you want a component that will supercharge that and take that to the, to the stratosphere, right? Way above and you want a competitive advantage that a lot of people do not take advantage of, it's this. Tell the world and share with the world what your beliefs and philosophies are. And step two, you stand by them. Now, what's the counter advice? Well, you might lose business and you want to be PC and all that, right? Now, if we're going to make a quick 
sidestep political correctness, I think is an attack on freedom of speech. And I think it's bullshit. Okay. All it is, is to protect certain people's feelings. We need to grow the fuck up and take responsibility. Okay. If I say a word that pisses somebody off, that's on them. They need to figure it out. You know why? Because I deal with a bunch of hateful shit. Some lady today on my leaving California video, she took it down, right? I wish I would have screenshotted it, but I saw the comment and I laughed, right? It was some shit about, <laughs> we have enough, like, don't move to Florida. Like, cause I said I was leaving, right? She said, don't move to Florida. We have no, enough drug dealers here. Go back to Mexico or some shit like that, right? I think at some point I mentioned uh, that my father, you know, my godfather was in the Dominican Republic. So apparently the Dominican Republic is Mexico. So she told me to go back there. Now I laughed. I didn't have any kind of adverse reaction to that. Is it right that she says that? No. However, it goes both ways. When I'm a, a, a supporter of freedom of speech, she has every right to say that. I'm not going to say that's hate speech. I can't say for sure if she's racist or whatever. But anyways, all that is is an indicator that she's upset and I wouldn't hang out with her. Cool. But she has every right to say that. I'm not going to silence her. Just like I believe in my own freedom of speech. But it's my responsibility if she says something like that and I get pissed off, that's on me. That means I got affected emotionally by somebody else's words. I need to take responsibility and say, I can't control her and tell her how to live. I need to get right in my space, like right here in my head and in myself. But somewhere along the lines, that became controversial and you can't do that. So now you insert political correctness and well, you can't say that or do that because it offends people. And where, where does that end? Like I told people pretty, pretty soon looking at somebody is going to be offensive, which it is to some people or saying hello. What's this going to be like in 10 or 15 years? Now, I'm not going to go off on a tangent just for this podcast, but you get what I'm saying. So going back to what I said, this, you know, standing up for your beliefs and somebody saying, well, you know, it's bad for business. Well, what's, what's the trade-off? Let's say I bite my tongue and let's say I follow their advice and I don't say what I stand up and what I believe in. At some point, let me tell you this, especially if you grow at all and people know you, at some point, you're going to have a conversation or say something somewhere that's your real beliefs and there's nothing wrong with it. But because you never stood by it, that information is going to leak. Someone's going to record it, take a picture, take a video. They're going to put it out. And suddenly you're an asshole now because, oh, so-and-so, let's say like something that's real big today is if you support Trump. Oh, so-and-so I heard in a private conversation, he supports Trump. Now, Let's say the person took the safe route, supports him, but doesn't want to say anything because he believes it's going to hurt his business. Okay. Compare the guy who gets found out later, which he will eventually, because again, how you live and your beliefs and philosophies eventually are going to come out and be known by people, right? It's impossible for them not to see it. But let's say he said it in the beginning, like I did back in 2016 and 15, when I said, yeah, I voted for Trump. I support Trump. A lot of people got pissed off. I didn't care. It's my beliefs and philosophies. I have that right. Now, can I change them as time goes on? Of course, about anything. It's not like you're stuck on that forever. But I said it. Did it upset some people? Did I lose some followers? Did it ruffle some feathers? Absolutely. But imagine if I had waited until now to say it. It would have had a much more adverse effect. Let's go back to this first example. Guy says it in the beginning. Okay, maybe he upsets some people, takes him a little bit longer to get a following, but it's built correctly. Now, later on, it's catastrophic. Let's say he built up a solid business and all of a sudden his business, the plug gets pulled out right from under him. What is he going to do? He's going to be hit so hard and have such a big crash, which again, I don't even have to give you examples. You've seen this happen all the time to where maybe now he may not recover and he has to start all over. Why? Because you were hiding something. You were keeping it secret. Now, I know people will argue with me to death on this because I get these questions all the time. But if I have to choose one of those, I'm choosing the first one. And let's say someone says, well, what if they never find out? Cool. But how, how fulfilled are you going to be having to hide things about your character and be always thinking, well, I'm around this group. I can't say this. Well, I'm around that person. I can't say that. Now you have to like lie because what if you're asked about it? And you don't say anything. Are you going to lie now? Right? You see how so many situations and things can pop up that compromise you. And whenever you get put in a position like that and you lie to yourself or you compromise yourself, you suffer at the greatest degree because it starts to eat at your soul and eat at your mind. And you can't sleep at night. It pisses you off. And then suddenly, this is why you see people break down and all that kind of stuff. Let me give you an example. A lot of celebrities can't handle the fame and criticism that comes with it. Okay? 
So what happens? They get on drugs, they want to commit suicide, and they have a bunch of issues. Now, am I saying that's going to happen to a business person? Not necessarily, right? Because it's not to that great degree of being in the public eye and receiving that ridicule. But on a smaller scale, that stuff is going to happen. Why? Because they won't stand firm with their beliefs and philosophies, right? And it takes a lot of character and maturity and a high level of ethics. Let's continue on. Because whether you like me or not in this example of what I just described, you have to respect me for voicing what I believe in and standing by to not backing down, especially as a man. And we need that in today's culture more than ever, where men have become more fucking girly and can't stand for shit or be leaders or be decisive or anything. And if that pisses you off, good, good. Because you knew, you knew I be, uh, uh, that was one of my beliefs from the beginning. I've been on men for a long time now, right? I'm telling all men, including me, we need to step the fuck up, straight up, okay? We're being bullied into acting and behaving other ways. But again, you have to respect me. Again, whether you like me or not on a personal level, because I stand up for my beliefs and philosophies and I publicly voice it. Very well knowing the ramifications that come with it, which is a bunch of criticism and bullshit. Like you guys just saw on my Facebook, some dumb girl, probably fucking 18, right? You guys see all those funny Gen Z memes that they make and TikToks, that, like everything pisses them off, right? She goes on my Facebook, not because I said anything, because I defended a friend of mine who made a video about his beliefs and philosophies about relationships. And I commented in support, didn't attack her or anything, but she goes on a tirade goes on every person who supported him's Facebook business page and says, we're misogynists and this and that, and we don't like women and don't do business with us, right? Now, because of how I am and my, my reputation and how I've built everything properly, remember, remember the first example that I gave you, I took a screenshot and shared it. It got like two or 300 likes, a bunch of shares. I guarantee you everybody told that girl to shut the fuck up basically. And she deleted the review as I knew she would because I went right back after her. But what allowed me, and it wasn't even me, it was my fan base that went after her. Why? Because I'm a man of high level of ethics and I stand up for my beliefs and philosophies and my audience can respect that. So they recognize her behavior was wrong. And when you do things correctly, that type of behavior gets corrected very quickly versus the culture that we're breeding right now it does not, it enforces that bullshit behavior and it's okay. Like right now it's being okay to do that and try to tear somebody's business down because it doesn't feel good and you don't like it. Are you fucking kidding me? It's stupid. It's okay for them to do that. It's okay for them to disrespect you and for you to just sit there and take it. It's dumb. But when things are done right and we stand up and you do some of these things that I'm telling you, all these other mistakes, am I saying it fixes everything? Absolutely not. Because we have a lot of shit to work on as humanity and as a society, of course. I'm not saying it's perfect. Not by any stretch or any means. But this is one of those things, like imagine if we had a society full of individuals who took responsibility right, and did this example. You, you, you stand up for your beliefs and philosophies. right? I'm not saying you attack people, but you stand by them and you protect them. But remember what I said earlier, you're also open to change. And if you are open to change and you're, you have a focused mind, not a stuck mind, when something else comes in, another idea, you'll listen and you'll have a conversation. You won't say, fuck you, and da, 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 like that girl who left me a bad review. That person is not open to conversation and a change of beliefs. It's fuck anybody and cancel anybody who doesn't think like me and act like me and want a world like me, which is extremely immature. Let's call it for what it is, right? Here's another one. Here's another benefit of being open, right? I know I'll kind of ping pong different ways, but here's another one. You know, if you do business with me and I'm selling, you know what you're going to get with me. You can trust me more because you know I'm honest and you know I'm not hiding shit from you, right? And as I'm saying that, it's probably clicking in your mind like, well, he's right. Exactly. So is there going to be a small portion of the market or a section of the market that will not do business with me, uh, will not do business with me because of my beliefs and philosophies? Absolutely. That happens with everything. There's going to be people who don't do business, don't do business with me because I'm a man, because I have wear earrings, because I have long hair, because I have tattoos, because I curse and I'm not politically correct. You can say that about anything, in particular this as well. No one's ever going to capture the whole market. Not at all. But the people who do vibe with me, and even the people who don't, will still look at me 
And maybe, and I've gotten this where they say, I don't like him, but damn, he's good. And I know as a businessman, he's going to do things right. And he's not going to be shady and I can trust him. And he's going to be honest and he's going to shoot me straight. That is for sure. That's set in stone. Why? Because they can clearly see my character and they know what I stand for, what I believe in and what my philosophies are. You see how this builds on the previous point, which is really cool. And many people don't see this. We always look at the negative of it. Well, I'm going to lose business. Well, people are going to say no. They're going to spread rumors about me. You only look at the possible negatives instead of looking at the positive of this. What really comes from this long term, right? This is why I've been telling people for years too. You're never going to expose me or do other shit. And if people do, it's bullshit. How many, for those of you who have been around for more than two or three years, how much do I get attacked? It's never going to work against me because I don't have shit to hide. I'm honest and I put everything out there. Now, can things be twisted and made to look a certain way by people? Sure. And, I, and it will continue to. I will have haters until the day that I die. That's fine. I knew getting into this game that that would be a part of it, but I'm never going to be taken down. Find somebody else who's been as consistent as me, who's been as open and transparent as me and raw and real and authentic and all those stuff. You know, and, and I appreciate all the messages I get. Name someone else like that in the space. Maybe some of the bigger guys. I don't know. I don't really follow them. But I'm sure maybe you can. But if you can, it's very few. It's very few. And you know what you get with me. And you know, if you send me a referral and you're an agent, right? Agent to agent referral. You know damn well I'm going to take care of your clients because I'm good at what I do. And I'm honest and forthcoming with you. Just like if you're a customer listening to this, a potential real estate customer or online customer who would buy my coaching like Modern Success or our products, you know exactly what you're going to get. You know, if I say, hey, this is guaranteed or you're going to get this, you know what I'm talking about is legit. And if you feel like it's not, you can have a conversation with me and I'll clear it up. No problem. Or if, if I make a mistake, I'll say, hey, I fucked up, which I have. Let me fix it. No problem. You want your money back? There you go. Cool. But you know, and even your gut tells you, okay, I can trust Brian, not well, I'm going to click or I'm going to call him, but uh, right. Same thing with that next step. You feel like you can call me or have a chat with me or have a beer with me and hang out with me. Why? Because you know what I stand for. You know exactly what you see on the screen is what you're going to get in person. It's the same thing. That's what makes me relatable and human to people. Because you see, because the shit that I say that I represent and believe in, so do you. And it's always been that way. Instead of being this fake puppet in front of you, like most people that are politically correct and I'm the perfect citizen and eh, we know it's bullshit. Just like when you watch stuff on TV, you know, it's bullshit. Fictitious characters that play a fucking role. I was just, I watched like a little two, two minute uh, news clip about the whole acquittal thing with Trump. And even the lady from the news, her voice, I was like, that's not your voice, dude. You don't talk like that to your kids. That's your news anchor voice. Come on, man. Shout out to Joe Biden for that one, right? Come on, man. <laughs> so when are we going to stop hiding from people? Why do we feel so compelled to follow these societal you know, norms and, and this bullshit advice? Because we know deep down inside it's not right. We know it's wrong. And everybody just does it out of this like weird, unspoken of obligation. Why? I never understood that. And I vowed to myself and I made the promise to myself that I would stop. So I'm going to end, I'm going to end the podcast here. And you have a lot of work to do, a lot of thinking to do, a lot of analyzing to do in your life. Because if you don't, man, this subject right here will eat you alive. It will limit you from growth in the one point reality and zero point reality at the same time. And then you will be sitting there scratching your head and wondering why you're not fulfilled, or there's all these issues going on and you can't seem to put your finger on it, okay? So that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you uh, listening in. We do this podcast every Monday and Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're on every major podcast platform. We also have the video version on YouTube. Check out that video I put on YouTube that I told you about why I'm leaving California. I'm sure you enjoy it. And you can throw up a guess to where I'm moving. Again, if you guys need anything real estate, teambcsold.com. Uh, if you guys are looking for more mentorship and help from me, like hands-on basis, then that's why I always recommend you guys get on Modern Success. Shout out to the Modern Success Tribe. Our next live event is in Texas, 26th of March. I'm excited for that. If you guys are interested in learning more or signing up, you can go to briancasala.com or you can go to the link in my bio on Instagram. All right, we'll see you on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, peace.